This is the seventh Sunshine Musical Benefit Show for the community of Laguna Woods Village by community members. It was held on January 15, 2011 in the Laguna Woods Clubhouse 3 Theater. The proceeds of the benefit were donated to the Saddleback Memorial Medical Center. Enjoy the show. Oh, I mean, uh, I didn't mean that. I meant to welcome you to the fourth annual Sunshine Performance Group's uh, Benefit Musical Variety Show benefiting the Saddleback Memorial Medical Center and the Foundation. And uh, it's our very great privilege to perform uh, each year for this very wonderful organization that serves our community so splendid. Uh, before we begin our festivities, there are a few acknowledgments that need to be made. And the first is to those who have served as volunteers to help make our show successful. To the uh, ongoing support of uh, a couple of uh, companies who have helped financially, uh, Laguna Woods Auto Body and uh, repair the Minuteman Press printing organization up on Lake Forest. And uh, <clears throat> those are the, uh, the sponsors. Uh, our actually, our show is presented by the Associates Club uh, of Saddleback Memorial Medical uh, Center. And uh, on behalf of that organization, uh, the volunteers have been led so splendidly uh, by Wendy Lucas, a special tribute to her. Uh, to the officers and directors of the Golden Rain Foundation for their support and encouragement. To the editors at the uh, Laguna Woods Globe newspaper, our thanks for their publicity. Uh, to uh, the uh, staff of Channel 6, uh, which has been so helpful, uh, or those of them who have been helpful to us to publicize our event, and lastly to the uh, management here, the uh, directors of this clubhouse, number three, the staff have been very encouraging and supportive. Uh, I don't think I omitted anybody, but... <clears throat> It's now uh, my very great pleasure, before our show begins, to introduce for a few words the president of the Saddleback uh, Memorial Foundation, Cecilia Ballou. Thank you, David. Well, hello. Welcome, everyone. On behalf of the thousands of patients that we serve, many of you, many of the members of this community, I want to thank you for coming today and for supporting the efforts of the Foundation to raise funds to be better and bigger and continue to provide state-of-the-art care, health care to, to this community. I want to tell you just a little bit about a year ago uh, when I was right here on this stage, we were talking about uh, this event funding the replacement of about 138 beds in our hospital, a $1.9 million project. And I am delighted to tell you that that project has been completed and that if you happen to be a patient at our facility, you will be in a brand new state-of-the-art bed. That it was, it's more than a bed, really. It's, it's a high-tech piece of equipment, so thank you for your support. Yes, thank you. Thank you to all of you. 
And I just briefly wanted to tell you about, you probably read about the expansion of our blood donor center, which will uh, start probably within the next few weeks and it will be completed by the summer. And uh, many of you are donors of that center because you donate blood and we are expanding the, the center to be able to accommodate more of you and to be able to provide the opportunity for you and your friends and family members that would like to donate blood, uh, whether it is for other members of the community or for yourselves if you're having to have surgery or in need of blood. So I encourage you to uh, think of us when you donate blood. Uh, the blood that is donated through our center it stays in this community, it's guaranteed to stay here. The American Red Cross does an absolutely fabulous job, but the donations that are given in this community may end up somewhere else, which is all good, but we try to support our community. We're a grassroots effort, and so we thank you very much for being here and for all of your support. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Cecilia. Uh, it bears repetition that uh, the old adage, you get what you pay for, we hope, doesn't apply to today's entertainment. But in the case of Saddleback Memorial Medical Center, we all get very much more than we pay for. And so your support, our support, is very important. And now, without further ado, we'll get the show on the road, and it gives me a great delight to introduce our Sunshine's musical director, Sunshine herself.
which we have uh, traditionally called uh, basis loaded. A trio uh, based upon uh, some of the great singers of the past who aren't with us anymore. So we're going to try to substitute for them. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> a song that was made popular by a, in a movie by Bing Crosby back in 1936. The song is Pennies from Heaven, and I have the pleasure of introducing Ed Hayes as <laughs> Dean Martin. Oh, yeah. I have the pleasure of introducing on my left Luciana Pavarotti in the person of Chuck Perot. And I'm going to try to be the late great H.O. Pinto from the Broadway Spain and the Post Metropolitan Opera. He used to sing, so I'm going to try to use him on Broadway. Anyway, the song, and he's from heaven, Beverly at the piano. <laughs> I'm 
musicals, The Sound of Music, Sunshine and The Sound of Music. That was my favorite movie and my favorite song, so here we go. Marlene at the piano. Thank you. 
don't think there's anybody who didn't like that music. Before we go to the next selection, I'd like to have us all give a little hand, a big hand for that matter, to our unsung heroes, those of us uh, our group who don't come up to the uh, microphone, but who are nevertheless the foundation or backbone of our Sunshine Musical uh, group. And they include Art Yanes on bass guitar. Matt Link on acoustic guitar. Chuck Meyer on violin. And unfortunately, uh, because of illness, uh, Eve Link, our percussionist, was not able to be here, as is also the case with uh, one of Sunshine's sisters, uh, Waverly, who was scheduled to be here, but we do have her other sister and a substitute sister, but Waverly, uh, Hanson, uh, unfortunately, has a very sick husband, couldn't be here. And now, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a father and son duo, Vern Smith on guitar and harmonica, and his son, Eric. Uh, and the song, Eric is going to sing and play the ukulele, and the song is called Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out, a kind of uh, reflection on uh, people's perception of uh, what it's like to be rich or poor and how people treat you. Nobody knows you when you're down and out. Once I lived the life of a millionaire Spent all my money, didn't have any care Took all my friends out for mighty good time Bought a little liquor, champagne and wine Then I began to fall for so low Lost all my friends and had nowhere to go I put my hands on a dollar again
By contrast, we now have the pleasure of introducing our resident tenor, our Luciano Pavarotti of sorts. And uh, he's going to sing an aria from the uh, Puccini opera Tosca. The aria is called A Luce con le Stelle, which is The Stars for Shining. It's sung by uh, the uh, young uh, lover, uh, Mario Cavaradossi, a painter, uh, while he's unfortunately awaiting execution. And uh, it's a song of love uh, to his uh, Gloria Tosca. A legitimate stelle, Chuck Perot at the microphone. Marlene at the piano. Thank you. 
is a, a piece which is going to bring our uh, men of many voices to the microphone. Uh, this time, Ed Hayes is going to be Johnny Cash. Oh, I'm Johnny Cash. And the uh, song is called the Green, Green Grass of Home. A sad one. Yes, you're going to count. Uh, Beverly is going to be at the piano for this selection. And uh, let's hear Green, Green Grass of Home. Sunshine Sisters, keep the two. And I just want to tell you how happy I am. Number one, to have my little sister Beth here. Unfortunately, Waverly couldn't come, but I have a wonderful substitute sister who has filled the shoes wonderfully, and I thank her, and here we are. <laughs>
to do is I can say thank you to all these wonderful, lovely musicians who have been supporting us on every song. Thank you. A very long time ago, when I was a very, very young man, a kind of hopelessly romantic kind of guy, I wrote a song. That's the only song that I've ever written. It's called Jean Marie, and this is the first time it's ever been sung in public. Uh, kind of been shy about it. I don't know why I'm not usually shy, but uh, I had a crush on a girl by the name of Jean way, way back when I was just, as they say, young. And my mom's name was Marie, but this is a story about a girl who was an uh, unattainable kind of, uh, uh, the kind that every red-blooded American young fella would like to know. And so, with Sunshine at the Piano, Jean Marie. And Sunshine is gonna change her name to Jean Marie. <laughs> <laughs>
I know they don't. Uh, now we have uh, Ed Hayes back at the microphone with an ensemble uh, selection, and it's called November Rain. Ed Hayes, accompanied by Marlene, Beverly, and Sunshine. This is an old Smoky Mountain song being sung by a Green Mountain Boy from Vermont, and is had a lot of help from his friends.
so young. You make me feel as though spring has sprung. And every time I see you bring, I'm such a happy individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce that moon just like a toy balloon. You and I, we're just like a couple of tots running across the meadow, picking up a lot of forget me nots. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung, and a wonderful flame to be flung. And even when I'm old and gray, you're gonna feel the way I do today. Cause you make me feel so young. Oh, I'm talking to Heather, my dog, and Heather.
wonderful blooper of happiness. They wrote it for a friend. That friend was Jan Pierce, who was the lead tenor singer in the Radio City Music Hall in New York, and also a leading tenor, quite a wonderful one, at the Metropolitan Opera. The song, The Blue Bird of Happiness, Sunshine at the Piano. Better man, the mighty king, are only different in name, for they are treated just the same by fate. Today a smile, and tomorrow a tear, we never show what's in store, so learn your lesson before it is. Hutchinson, 
as they recant. But we're going to leave a shape, God bless America. And uh, Cecilia, Baloo, would you be kind enough and honor us by coming up and helping to sing God Bless America on behalf of uh, the great Saddleback Memorial Medical Center. Yeah. 